50 years before the Battle of Yavin upon the planet Dathomir. Asajj Ventress was a female Dathomirian Zabrak, born into a clan of force sensitive witches known as the Night Sisters. Followers of the Dark Side, the Night Sisters were infamous even among the other witches of Dathomir and were ruled over by Mother Towson. As one might expect, Asajj's childhood was chaotic and dark. At a very young age, Asajj was surrendered to a criminal named Halstead. Soon after, she was taken from Dathmir to the worn torn planet of Ratatak. She soon became an orphan when her slave master was killed by pirates. Fortunately for the young Zabrak, she was found by Jedi Knight Kai Nurek, who was stranded on the planet. The Jedi raised Asajj on Ratatak, teaching her how to use the Force and the ways of the Jedi. During the years they spent together on Ratatak, they fought off pirates and aided the local population against brutal attacks from pirate marauders. Osaka Kursk was a warlord on Ratatak who ran a gladiatorial arena. Somewhere around 22 BBY, raiders working for Kursk harassed the inhabitants of Velinki, a settlement on Ratatak. Narek and Asajj went to assist the villagers, but Kursk threatened to torch the village unless the locals handed the two Jedi over to him. The villagers followed Kursk's orders, but he had the village burned regardless. Kursk's raiders surrounded the two Jedi, shooting and killing Narek. Angered by the death of her master, Ventress slaughtered the raiders and the Ratataki who had conspired to kill Narek. Asajj was devastated by the loss of her master and she soon embraced the dark side. However, Kursk led Ventress into a trap during an assassination attempt. Asajj was captured and forced to fight in Kursk's arena. During one of Ventress's fights, Count Dooku visited the arena in search of an assassin, in which he hoped to train as an apprentice to one day overthrow Sidious. He watched Ventress fight from Kursk's viewing gallery. Impressed, he selected her to be trained as a dark acolyte, and hopefully one day his Sith apprentice. Dooku then beheaded Kursk, further earning Asajj's respect. When the Clone Wars began between the Galactic Republic and the Separatist Alliance, Ventress became a commander in the Separatist droid military and an assassin of the Sith. Her exploits brought her into many conflicts with the Jedi throughout the years and she became renowned for her skill and ruthlessness in combat. Early in the war, she fought in the front lines of a major battle against the Republic. In a skirmish, Ventress engaged Jedi Master Tholm in personal combat and quickly overwhelmed the Jedi disarming him and forcing a surrender. Ignoring Dooku's command that she spare Thorm's life, the Dark Acolyte executed him on the battlefield. Although she was highly talented and saw success in kidnapping Rotter the Hutt, the rescue of Newt Gunray and the infiltration of the Republic Fortress world of Kamino, Ventress was repeatedly forced to compete for her master's favour against General Grievous. As the Clone Wars raged on, Ventress failed to complete a few missions like the retrieval of Fett's DNA sample from Kamino. Concerned about her failures as well as her growing power in the dark side, Darth Sidious ordered Count Dooku to kill his apprentice in a show of loyalty. Dooku agreed to do so and during the Battle of Salust, he betrayed Ventress and ordered his own forces to execute her. You have failed me for the last time. You are no longer my apprentice. And now, you shall die. Fortunately, Ventress survived the brutal attack and made her way back to Dathomir. Mother Towson and her coven welcomed Ventress back to their sisterhood and together they planned to kill Dooku. After a failed attempt to assassinate the Count, Ventress and Towson realised they needed a new plan to kill Dooku. As Dooku now required a new apprentice, Ventress selected the Zabrak. Savage Press to be gifted to Dooku in a sneaky attempt to eventually help kill him. However, this plan also failed when a press rejected both Ventress and Dooku, nearly killing them both. Ventress decided to make a new life for herself and returned to Dathomir to rejoin her clan and forgo further plans for revenge. However, Dooku dispatched Grievous and his droid army to massacre the Dathomirian witches, decimating the Night Sister clan and almost leading to their extinction. Mother Towson and Ventress were among the few survivors and were forced to separately flee Dathomir. Ventress eventually made it off Dathomir and took to wandering the Outer Rim. Posing as a traveller, she ended up on Tatooine. She eventually got into trouble, resulting in her meeting a Trandoshan named Bosk and becoming a bounty hunter. 
As the war continued to rage throughout the galaxy, Ventress followed her new career as a bounty hunter and began work from her residence on level 1312 in the lower levels of Coruscant. She accepted a bounty posted by the Galactic Senate for Ahsoka Tano for crimes against the Republic, for bombing the Jedi Temple and the murder of multiple clone troopers. Although she initially did not believe that Ahsoka was capable of such offences, she took the job anyway and began hunting the Jedi. Upon capturing Ahsoka, she sympathised with her and decided to help Ahsoka in her quest for justice. In the process of Ventress helping Ahsoka, she lost her lightsabers and almost met her end at the hands of Anakin Skywalker. Following the intrigue with Ahsoka and Coruscant, Ventress left the Core Worlds and gained possession of the ship called the Banshee. She moved her business to the vessel and adopted it as her home, modifying it significantly and using it to great effect on numerous missions. During this time, Ventress also acquired a new lightsaber with a yellow blade on the black market to replace her twin red lightsabers that had been stolen by Barris Ophi. Ventress gained notoriety among bounty hunters who labelled her the Bald Banshee. She continued to work alone for many months, becoming quite wealthy from her successes in the bounty hunting trade. Around the time of Dooku's genocide on Marini, Ventress accepted a bounty posted from the Ran Clan for the capture of the Volpi embezzler Morogi in exchange for 25,000 credits. Her acceptance of the job drove other hunters like Boba Fett away leaving her free to hunt the target alone. However, when she finally captured him, she was tackled by Quinlan Voss, a rival Kifar Bantu hunter. Voss was a Jedi Master who had been assigned by the Jedi Council to go undercover as a bounty hunter and gain Ventress's trust. His objective was to familiarise himself with the habits and techniques of Dooku so he could carry out an assassination of the Separatist leader. Ventress and Voss captured the bounty and agreed to split it and agreed to work together. During this period of successful bounty hunting, the two began to develop feelings for one another beyond professional business relations, although both kept their affections to themselves. After a mission didn't go to plan, the two went to a bar, drinking in silence for a while. Voss, who was overcome with his feelings for Ventress, admitted to his partner that he was indeed a Jedi, sent by the Council to learn from Ventress and ultimately kill Count Dooku. To his great surprise, she was already aware of his affiliations, citing his unnatural combat prowess and ability to survive even the most lethal incidents as evidence that he was likely a Jedi. Ventress cautioned Voss that the assassination would require him to abandon his Jedi ideals. Regardless, she agreed to help the Jedi by training him in the dark aspects of the Force so that the two of them might stand a chance of killing her former master. As the two travelled to Dathomir, Voss sympathised with the losses she had endured and revealed to Ventress that, much like she had struggled with the death of her master, he too had struggled with the death of his Jedi Master, Tholm. Ventress recalled having killed Tholm earlier in the war, but instead told Voss that it had been Dooku that had ended his master's life. Voss believed the lie and developed a deeper hatred against the Count for it, as well as the Jedi Council for having withheld that information. On the eve that their training began, Ventress and Voss revealed their feelings for one another and kissed, a further rejection of the Jedi mandate of non-attachment and a new manifestation of the commitment between the two. Their romantic relationship continued to develop and deepen during the coming days, which led both of them to question what they would do after killing Dooku. Voss would be expected to return to the Jedi Order and his attachment to Ventress was forbidden and would be expected to end. However, after giving himself to the dark side and embracing his love for Ventress, Voss declared that he would not be returning to the Jedi after Dooku's assassination. He destroyed his comlink, his only connection to the Jedi Council, and committed himself to Ventress.